Mario Andretti, now aged 41, born in Trieste, Italy. Today, a veteran of 20 plus years in motorsport. In 1962, an early film of Mario Andretti at Hatfield, Pennsylvania. On this occasion, driving sprint cars. He also drove modified stock cars in his early days. In over a three year span, in the early 60s, he won 20 races. In 1965, he came to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway as a rookie, but was soon able to remove the stripes. He started in fourth position. He finished third. That year, he was the USAC national champion. He was also the rookie of the year in Indianapolis. A young, enthusiastic, and very talented Mario Andretti. But in 1967, he saw other worlds to conquer. He visited the Daytona 500 in March of that year and won the race. He was to take part in 14 stock car races. Again, showing that versatility, turning his hand to any form of the sport. Because that same year, at the Sebring 12-hour race, Mario Andretti was to go on and win. His co-driver that year, from New Zealand, Bruce McLaren. In 1969, he was to return to Indianapolis with a new team and a new car, entered by Andy Granatelli. Two days before the first day of time trials, Mario crashed heavily at turn four. The car was demolished. Mario had facial burns. He got into an older car, qualified second and remarkably went on to win the race, gaining one of the great kudos at Indianapolis, a kiss from Andy Granatelli. I have uh, been uh, wanting to win this race so bad that you can't believe it, and uh, uh, I can't, I still can't believe it's true. I'm just, uh, I'm gonna have to be pinching myself all night until tomorrow. Later that year, he demonstrated again his versatility. A winner of 12 different forms of racing, Mario Andretti took himself to the Pikes Peak Hill Climb and won that in 69. And then it was 1978. He won the World Championship for Drivers, winning six races that year, spanning from Belgium to Italy, his own home ground. But it was at that racetrack that tragedy struck his teammate. Ronnie Peterson was to die in this accident, but Mario was to go on and win the World Championship. Mario Andretti, a great driver, someone who I've enjoyed tremendously driving with and against, a great ambassador for the United States. Mario will go on racing.